Guess what I'm doing? I'm studying again. This is John Donne. John Donne. Yes, lately I have been ha I have had some lectures again, and it came in a lot of inspiring thoughts about poetry. For example, they complain about that children nowadays think too much of everything connected to ero everything erotic and connected to human body. You know, functions what we people usually do and have. You know, if we sweat, that's a body function. If you do anything else, that's a body function. If you smile, maybe even that is, is a body function. But the, um, he has got like two poems. One of them is, uh, do his mistress going to bed? Uh-huh. Yes, it's exactly what you think. And the other one was the flea. Yes, this little flea bing, 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 jumping around. But my thought, thoughts were... Connected to the topic that why are his poems so full of human body and erotics? Because they didn't have any porn magazine in the old times. Well, I don't know, maybe you know what's the oldest porn magazine in the world. Mm. No idea, I don't read them. Really, I don't read those kind of magazines. But his poems are kind of. kind of. um. Well, talk about body functions. Mm, and um, we were reading that and I felt like, okay, that's what people study nowadays. And I'm a grown-up, well, kind of grown-up, so it's okay. But imagine you are like 12, reading that, are you? Maybe in some English-speaking countries to do, but I don't know that. And you're reading lines like that. A quote from, to his mistress going to bed. Like, um, the foe of times having the foe in sight, he's tired with standing to he never fight. What could this he be? It's a, our body, but I don't have it, because I am a girl. Now, maybe you know what this body, but is. You know, in the 19th century, they discussed a lot, lot about, like, they discussed, um, did, <coughs> sorry. He discussed a lot if people should go to bed before marriage. And yeah, but I don't mean just going to bed and sleep there and just lying next to each other. I mean this physical activity. So what is your opinion? Should people go to bed before their marriage or not? I'm not going to tell my opinion because my opinion is based on what the marriage actually is. Is the marriage the fact that when people live together, or is this marriage if you are so detached to someone you can't live without him, and although you don't live together, you are married? What do you think? Mm. And yes, um, the same topic is also in the museums. For example, mm, of course, again, in the old times they didn't have that kind of magazines. Not this kind of, that kind of. I don't have those at home, I'm sorry. This is what you see on my wall. These are just pictures. He said to see flowers. See? But anyway, they liked human body and famous artists have painted a lot. So they went to museums to see naked human body because they didn't have these magazines and ladies were so keen on their virginity. So they didn't show themselves and you know, even during the reign of Queen Victoria, they went swimming like, well, you know, no one ever saw anything. Like, um, if anyone had come swimming the way they do nowadays, um, 200 years ago, it would have been a disaster. This kind of person would have been a real slutty. Okay, if you think that, if you think now that they know nothing about life, you're wrong. In a sense that, um, although this moral question has all, was actual at that time, there's still the question of um, what really existed. Yes, prostitutes did, mistresses did, everything has existed. It's just if people knew about it, you know, you were supposed to be like a truly 
and I'm very careful like if anyone knew about you losing your virginity before marriage you were out of question out of market for marriage like but nowadays is it different kind of yes for some um, Imagine you're going to get married. I mean, imagine you're so so in love. Imagine you're like 45, and you say to your husband, future husband, I'm sorry, I haven't slept. You know what I mean, right? So imagine his opinion. Maybe he thinks you're a lesbian. However, actually, some guys like it if girls haven't slept with many guys. Because sometimes they feel like girls are like used cars, you know. The more used, the worse it goes. Maybe it's like um, giving this car some extra oil. Like uh, maybe it works better and the smooth fan knows what to do on the road. Like this girl's bloody one knows what to do, maybe. However, different oil <coughs> is different and it may damage. You know, and I don't know if you would like to be with someone who has been with 100 guys, including your friends and father. Would you? I wouldn't if I was a guy. And even if I'm a girl, I'm not sure if I would like to be with a guy who's been like with 10,000 girls all over the world and has got all their diseases and previous customers, so called. And it's like, however, we never know. Like, you have to trust um, your partner a lot. Yes. Okay. And see, you, you. I was about to talk about poetry, and I ended up with physical relations. What well, is part of life? And yesterday, I got inspired by these poems, and I, cr I created one really nice poem I like. I'm not going to retell it now, but it, um, I took some symbols. You know, poetry is actually all about symbols. You may write about whatever you want to, whenever you like to, whatever you feel. Just take it. Just write, take the paper, take some pen, write it down, or even just use a laptop or ordinary computer. However, well, symbols are so important that usually, actually, if uh, people write poetry, they almost never think of different symbols. They um, just write it and after they start to read, and then they may find some, oh, that means that, let's elaborate it a bit more. Let's add some really nice adjectives here. Yeah. But that's what they do after, not before. And, um, for example, I, I, my poem was called Side Effect. And I use a metaphorical theme of tears, like I'm your like my tears are his side effect. So I took this side effect and I used a man. Actually, my side effect was caused by a medicine I used because I had been <coughs> kind of ill for weeks already. So it caused me tears and it came with some inspiration. And my my special friend came with some inspiration, of course, because he's a man. So I put two and two together and got to be one. And I really like it. I like uh, poetry to you. So let me know your opinions of poetry, John Donne, losing a virginity before marriage, and the most important, what interests me. What is a marriage, in your opinion, like, is it this, what they say, that you go to the church and, mm -hmm, something else, think about it.